Okay, Chris Haskell here again. And this report I am doing about me as an update. Um, all of my videos are now under supervision of the state of Arizona probation department. Um, I have, how you say, violated two times new, and that's due to my last update video. Anyway, I'm not going to get into the particulars of it, but uh, let's just say I'm going through a wonderful process here. They've updated me on giving me new, new classes that I have to take with COPE to help me because I guess because I'm a bad person, because I need help. <laughs> I don't know. But I'm going to take the classes. I'll probably end up teaching them. I might get thrown out after a while, but they said I my participation would be not a problem, provided I don't create a problem. So hopefully it'll work out and I'll be able to help some people at these classes. Um, may, hey, who knows? Who knows? Maybe something, I'll get something. Because actually, <laughs> I'm going to be more sarcastic than anything. If keep, people haven't figured it out and if my probation department hasn't figured it out yet. I'm also a character for my YouTube channel. I'm not crazy. I'm sorry. I apologize because I know you want to control me fully and put me in some kind of an institution. But the fact here is I'm a comedian. I'm a stand-up comedian. I do funny routine things like, hey, you know, this is, I don't believe in chemtrails. I don't, they're not real. Those are contrails. You know, the idiots that don't believe we're being sprayed. Well, I'm sorry, it's no longer a conspiracy theory, okay? It's factual. We're being sprayed by airplane and other procedures taking care of uh, our air. They're toxically poisoning our air. This is an environmental crime being committed by our government. They feel that it's necessary to do this, okay? Their name is, because you can't say the word chemtrails or you are crazy, okay? The fact here is, uh, let's touch off on over 137 patents held by both the United States government and companies like Boeing and Raytheon. Hey, you guys heard of Raytheon? They're right over there, right next door to Davis Monthan. Raytheon actually has patents on how to control our weather. It is called stratospheric solar geoengineering. Please look it up, because only idiots, true idiots, would look up, see it happening right before their eyes. These are not normal. These 100 mile long plumes coming out of the back of an airplane that stay all day, get larger, and become clouds. Okay, there's nothing normal about this. This is stratospheric solar geoengineering. Or, heck, look it up. There's other patents called SRM, Solar Radiation Management. Plus, you actually got a couple other areas of our government that are supposedly spraying different parts of our sky with different programs. Some of them balloons, some of them rockets, and some of them airplanes. Okay, so... We passed that early, because once you look it up, it's going to register what you're seeing with your own eyes. It's happening. Educate yourself. They're toxifying all of us. Go get yourself tested. Problem is, we already know this in advance, us people that are educated in this area. Doctors will not test you for mental poisoning. Even if you come up with a story, oh, I've been drinking out of a well, because that's what I told my doctor, that I'm, I'm curious about, I think it's a bad well, it's got poison in it, and they said, no, there will be no reason to test you for metals. So, let me see. Why would that be? 
I even went on for a half an hour with my personal doctor and said, I, don't worry, I know that insurance will not cover this. So I'll pay for it myself. He said, no, I'm not gonna test you. That's ignorant, that's stupid. There's no reason to test you unless you work for a smelter. I said, well, who cares what the reason is? I need you to sign the paperwork. I'll pay for it myself and I'll, and check it out. I'll pay in advance so you don't get stuck with the bill because I know the insurance won't pay for it. No. So I went on for a, over a half an hour with my own doctor. I did not believe, even though I was warned in advance that that was going to happen, I did not believe that would happen in my case because I actually have a great doctor. I love the man. So he, apparently all the doctors are not allowed to get you tested for mentals or maybe most of them. I don't know. Maybe just mine. Maybe it's just a coincidental thing. Maybe yours will. Give it a go. Give it a shot because my impression is what's going to happen, just like I was told previously, is no, they're not going to test you for metals. So go ahead and what we did, me and another hundred people in Tucson, Arizona, we brought our blood and our urine both, sent it to a laboratory, a private separate laboratory, and they tested us. And it was incredible. The test was a massive amount that I had in my body. Aluminum, barium, strontium. Does that sound familiar? Magnesium. Uh, 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 we even had lithium. Okay? So, get tested, do it yourself, and probation department, educate yourself, please. Okay? This is the update for Chris Haskell. I have been brought down, strapped to a, a table, basically. New classes. They're concerned about my, my mental status, so I'm going to be checked on December or January 18th. I have an appointment with COPE so that they can analyze my mind and let me know if I'm okay. And I don't think I'm going to have any problem, okay? Um, I do wish that they had a little program going for our probation department to help them out, but it's here nor there. Um, anyway, I'm not going to mention any names, but I am in deep poo-poo right now. Um, I break every rule, I guess. I'm trying not to. I didn't know I could, couldn't mention someone's name and I'd be held under new charges. Okay, so I am having to go every morning, Monday through Friday, 8 a.m., got to show up there to take a breathalyzer. Um, I have to test for... for urine tests, I don't have the money to do that, so we have to, I have to call each time to get permission and then I go do it at a different place. And um, I have to go to these new programs. I don't know how I can do this while I'm looking for a job because now I'm gonna spend half of a day, Monday through Friday or whatever it is. Um, let me see. It is, uh... yeah, no, 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 it's just Tuesday and Wednesday that I have to go from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. and 10.30 till 1.30 p.m. on different days. And, uh, yeah. So, after I do all that, then I guess I can work on the house. Because it, it, this is difficult. This is really difficult, but I'm gonna make it through this. I am positive, and I wanna say I, I very much appreciate my supporters. Um, I, I stopped asking for donations because I don't want to be a guy going around asking for donations. But the fact is, I got no money. I got no job. They keep notifying me every time. We're sorry. Here's another one right here. Um, thank you for completing the application for sales position. We appreciate your time and interest in our company. At this time, we're informing you that we're not being selected as a candidate. And it happens again and again and again. And whenever I ask them, I pump them hard. Can you tell me why? They say, sir, you're a terrorist. Okay. So I'm trying. Um, you know what? When it comes to donations, I do appreciate any donations that anyone has. But if they don't have the money, don't send anything. And if you only have a little bit of money... I'll tell you what, send it to the people in California 
from, from paradise and all these places that have lost their houses because they're, they're out of luck. Half of them don't have any insurance. Half of them, I mean, they're, they're screwed, okay? But after that, if you have any money left over, because some people have a ton of money and they're rich, yeah, in that case, please go to my PayPal account and give a couple bucks. It'll be well appreciated. But the main thing I wanted to do here is update you that I am basically under control, hardcore, intense probation, next three years, can't go to Mount Lemmon, can't go to my dad's house. I was notified that I have to be, I was, how you call it, um, I was evicted from my dad's house and I've got till the 31st of January to get everything out of both his house and at Mount Lemmon. Now, this is about, you know, two, three bedroom houses of stuff, at least. A little more than that, actually, to be honest. And all my storage stuff that, and the stuff I put in the ground. So, <laughs> it's almost impossible, but guess what? I can't go to either place to get it. They won't even come with me and escort me from the depredation department. So, I can't even call my dad anymore, because I guess I messed that up. So, if I approve it through my probation department, then I can call my dad and set an appointment to send someone over to get my stuff. I don't have any money to pay anyone to do this. The last time I had people to volunteer, so I don't have to pay them to go over there and get my stuff, they robbed me. They took all my coins, about $5,000 worth of cash. Okay, so I can't pay professionals to go get my stuff. My friends are pretty much done because they've done a lot for me and they're worn out. I can't pay, apparently, drug addict losers to go get my stuff. So I guess I'm going to lose everything I own. It's just like, you know, thousands and thousands of dollars worth of stuff. That's fine. Whatever. This is what the probation department has made me do. I can't go get it myself or I'll be jailed. They said, no, you're going to go to jail if you show up either place. Great. I don't know what to do. So maybe if you got any suggestions, you know someone in Tucson that's willing, that's trustworthy, that I can send to Mount Lemon and you got to drive all the way up in there and do some digging, then let me know. But if not, I'm just going to be losing all my stuff because my dad apparently is under control of my sister, I guess. I don't know. Either way, it's not important. I'm not mentioning any names. I just know that I'm screwed. So, thank you. I do appreciate everything that's been done for me. It's been a lot. My supporters have been powerful, and I've had my supporters even volunteering their prayers for my friend Sue Silva. So, thank you again. I appreciate it. Have a good day. Chris Haskell, out, Real News Tucson reporter. Have a good day. There's my, my ginger, ginger, and my other dog, and my new dog. Come on, ginger, show him, show him. Ah, yes, yes, he loves me. All right, and there's Freedom, that's her name. Yeah, Freedom, say hi to, that's Freedom. She's a pretty dog. Oh, both of them are. Have a great day.